Gilly MK 2006 2015 years of release. Good day if you are wondering is it worth buying a Gilly MK and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So thin body metal and weak paintwork make the owners of Gilly MK fear even small stones fl flying from under the wheels of the cars in the front doesn't differ in body metal and corrosion resistance. On some copies of Gilly MK, rust appeared after 3-4 years of operation. First of all, corrosion attacks the underside of the car and deep chips on the body. In addition, pockets of rust can be easily found under the front door seals, on the front edge of the hood and the gas tank cap. Of course, to some extent, higher quality treatment of the body with anti-corrosion compounds helps to solve the problem of low corrosion resistance, but on most used Gilly MKs, it's too late to do this. Other complaints include complaints about the fragile glass of the fog lamps. In damp weather or with the onset of frost, they often crack. The owners of the Chinese sedan solved this problem radically. They simply stopped using fog lights. The workers who assembled the Gilly MK hardly thought about the quality of the assembly. You can find uneven gaps and other assembly flaws in the cabin of a Chinese sedan in a couple of minutes. Naturally, the poorly assembled interior creaked noticeably even in new cars. As the mileage increases, the squeaks and crickets become even greater. Furthermore, after a couple of years of operation, the owners of Gilly MK noticed that the seat upholstery was practically frayed to the holes. Worst of all, in the same short period of time, the heating elements of the seat heating system also failed. With an enviable constancy, water accumulates in the interior of the Gilly MK. And again, part of the blame lies with those who assembled the Chinese sedan. The gluing of the windshield on most copies is frankly of poor quality. In addition, moisture can enter the passenger compartment through loose plugs on the underside of the car. Another swamp can be found in the trunk of the Gilly MK. The blame for this is the rear light seals, the quality of which also leaves much to be desired. There are very few electronic systems in the Gilly MK, but despite this, the electrician of the Chinese sedan now and then causes problems. Most of all claims are collected by the air conditioner. In hot weather, it copes with its work with great difficulty, often to the mark of 80-100,000 km. Freon begins to evaporate from the air conditioning system and in the worst case, by the same mileage, the air conditioner compressor can even jam. The voltage regulator begins to supply the same 100,000 km, because of which the battery stops recharging. As a result, the owners of Gilly MK have to fork out for the repair or replacement of the generator. Of the less significant claims, one can note the refusal of heating the rear window and the inoperative elimination of the instrument cluster. In the latter case, the failed doorboard microcircuit is to blame. Two gasoline power units were available for the Gilly MK. 1.5 liters, 94 horsepower and 1.6 liters, 107 horsepower. In our market, the most widespread is the 94 horsepower engine, which the Chinese assembled under the license from Toyota. Thanks to its excellent pedigree, the power unit turned out to be quite worthy for a budget Chinese car, although not without several weaknesses. The main one is the weak timing belt. Officially, its replacement is prescribed every 60,000 km, but practice shows that it's possible to detect cracks or missing teeth on it after the mark of 40,000 km. Another important feature is that replacing the timing belt requires removing the right engine mount. As a result, replacing the belt on your own is very problematic. The owners of a Chinese sedan regularly encounter the fact that the warped up Gilly MK engine suddenly begins to undermine. It's not at all necessary to rush to the service on this matter. It's enough to replace the spark plugs and ignition coils on your own. In the worst case, if the problem can be solved in this way, High voltage wires will also fall under the replacement. In addition, valve adjustment may be required. The last procedure should be done exclusively by masters because, in case of incorrect adjustment after a run of 40-60 thousand kilometers, the valve will begin to clamp, which will subsequently lead to burnout. Care should be taken when removing high voltage wires. The probability of their breakage is quite high. The gasket for heating the throttle on the Gilly MK begins to leak after a run of 50,000 km. The defect should be eliminated immediately, since otherwise there is a risk of premature failure of the idle speed regulator. 
Difficulty starting the motor and its unstable operation will tell you about the presence of a malfunction. The temperature control of the engine must be constant. Due to poor connections on the terminals, the thermostat may open with a delay. The fan of the cooling system is also capable of letting down, which corner will not start working when the engine temperature approaches the critical one. The situation is aggravated by the fact that the engine temperature sensor tends to lie. Interestingly, in addition to overheating, the owners of Gilly MK are also faced with the fact that the engine is not always able to warm up to operating temperature. This is again the fault of the thermostat, which can sour when open. Replacing the cylinder head gasket with a mileage of 100-120 thousand kilometers is a common task for, for Gilly MK owners. By the same run, the pump usually develops its resource, able to bring a radiator of the cooling system, which is prone to corrosion. Especially often it starts to leak with the onset of cold weather. With a mileage of 80-100 thousand kilometers, it's worth preparing to replace the crankshaft oil seal. Every 60-80 thousand kilometers the oil pressure sensor will require replacement. Even more often, every 40-60 thousand kilometers, it will be necessary to change the pillows of the power unit and gearbox. Gilly MK buyers will not have to choose the type of transmission. For the Chinese sedan, only a manual transmission was offered, which unfortunately was not the most reliable. The owners of the brand new Geely MK noted extraneous noise from the box already with a run of 50-70 thousand kilometers. It turned out that their source was the bearings of the input and output shafts requiring replacement, full of claims to the seals of the axle shafts. The first smudges of oil on them were found already with a run of 30-40 thousand kilometers. To the mark of 60-70 thousand kilometers, the clutch master cylinder develops its resource. Fortunately, the Chinese have released a special repair kit to repair the cylinder. As for the service life of the clutch itself, it can withstand up to 100 thousand kilometers with careful handling. The owners of Gilly MK also note the difficult gear shifting. High quality transmission oil helps a little to correct the situation, but most owners of a Chinese sedan do not want to spend money on it. Structurally, the Gilly MK's suspension is very simple. McPherson struts at the front and the beam at the rear. It would seem that simplicity should have become a guarantee of high reliability, but even here the Chinese managed to go their own way. Most of the consumables in the suspension do not last long. Sloppy drivers manage to change the stabilizer struts every 10,000 km. Neat drivers do it little less often, every 15-20 thousand km. To the mark of 40,000 km, they require replacement of the bushings to the mileage of 50-60 thousand km shock absorbers. In the case of frequent trips on bad roads, the same shock absorbers may not withstand even 30,000 km. Ball joints and front wheel bearings serve about 70-80 thousand km. The CV joint resource is slightly higher, up to 100 thousand km. Tired of doing suspension repairs so often, many Gilly MK owners abandon cheap Chinese parts in favor of more expensive but much more reliable Toyota counterparts. Surprisingly, you could even find the steering rack with backlashes on the new Geely MK. The assembly was assembled without checking the quality of the work performed. Fortunately, after the tightening, the backlashes disappeared. The very same steering rack on the Geely MK is capable of serving from 100 to 150 thousand kilometers. Service life of steering tips is 50-60 thousand kilometers, steering rods 70-80 thousand kilometers. The Chinese sedan is not spared from problems with the braking system. On vehicles with high mileage, the brakes can jam. This happens due to the fact that the piston of the brake cylinder begins to rust over time. The rear cylinders, which are prone to leakage, also require attention. If you are the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.